So you see Chino, now GNOME 40 has solved all the REST desktop issues. The last remaining part is to improve the accessibility on applications launcher. What for? Linux doesn't have any apps anyway. <laughs> And so, this wonderful video will start with something that most likely you won't see on this lifetime. And I mean elementary 6. Fun in Tarantino direction? Nah, Coco Scorsese. Isle of the Dead Man. But back to this brilliant film, elementary is a project with huge similarities to GNOME Desktop. But accessing the app menu isn't one of them, because in elementary it's always visible on the top panel. Another major difference is when we press the super key, and we get the desktop shortcuts. But then again, I'm not sure what's worse here. The ridiculous shortcut design, or the awful window manager that poked up the window between the welcome window and the applications menu? Irrelevant to the main event, but elementary 6 window manager continues to have terrible design problems when it comes to handle system windows and dialogs. The back to GNOME problems, although isn't really a problem. You see? GNOME by design prioritizes the app switching over new apps launching, and that mostly via the Windows overview, that we all love. In any case, the problem remains, although personally I don't consider it like an actual issue, not on desktop at least. So for accessing the app grid we first need to click on activities, and then to the 9 dots button. Most people will use super and search, but the point here is to enter the app picking state. So another way is to first press super and entering on Windows Overview, and then click on 9 dots. Last and probably certainly least, we can press super and A. That's not a great shortcut for such common purpose, and that's what is actually improved. Meanwhile and since I'm here, new pages are on master for GNOME 40 release. And we also have a color change on app folders. And here you can admire one of the bugs. But considering the massive changes GNOME 40 is more stable than expected. So anyway, GNOME developers are partially solving the issue with two changes. The first change is when we boot on GNOME 40 we immediately start on Windows picking state. Therefore we have both our favorites apps, and the 9 dots button to open the launcher. The second and most significant change is the double click behavior of super key, that in practice may not feel so natural but I can promise because isn't something I use a lot so far. Anywho, watch this. One super to Windows Picker. Second super to Exit. Double super to Applications Picker. Another super to Exit. And again, double super to App Picking State. But from here if we press Escape we will return to State back, to Windows Picking State. Second Escape, and back to Desktop State. Not sure if that's a final design, but that's how it works on release candidate. So that was everything, but before finishing this off, let me show you one last thing I never did so far. It never made it to master though, but you still might want to know some of the GNOME developers design ideas. So one of the design issues is that the 9 dots button was a part of the favorites in running app stock, and designers wanted to make this button a little more distinctive. And previously I had showed you this merge request that was moving the 9 dots to the left side, without that much success to be honest. But another merge request much much more interesting, is when everything's lava. And this MR number ends to 666. Coincidence? I don't think so. I'm not currently running the patches, but what they basically do is to remove the 9 dots button, and everywhere we click on the gray space it will open the app picker. 